Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This video I'm going to be talking about a, a recent piece of news from Hollyoaks that the actor James Fletcher has decided to leave his role as Dylan Jenkins from Hollyoaks. Alright, cool. And um, as usual, you guys know what I'm going to ask. If you could please send in your Q&A questions and your video suggestions. Uh, I'll just explain it quickly for those of you who don't know or those of you who are new. Come out this video, click on my name below, which will take you to the home page of my channel. Click on the About tab in the channel, you'll find everything you need there to send me your Q&A questions and your video suggestions. Or you can just comment them to me in any uh, comment section of any video. I'll see them all in my notifications, round them up, do some Q&As and some more videos. Um... I have uh, just to let you know, Leon and Eddie, you two, uh, you sent me some Q and A questions. I think uh, Leon, you sent me four, and Eddie, you sent me three or four, two or three, something like that. Um, I'll do them both tomorrow. I think it will be. I think it'll be parts thirty-eight and thirty-nine. I'll have to double check. Um, but yeah, thank you for sending those in. That that will help for the videos this week. And I'm going to be talking about another piece of news about Mercedes later this week. A new storyline that's happening for her. Happening for her. But I'll talk about that when um, when I go to record it. But yeah, um, some news that broke on Wednesday. Of course, I'd already done all my filming by Wednesday because I'd done two videos Monday, two videos Tuesday. Um, the actor who plays Dylan Jenkins. Uh, You'll also know him as Trevor's son. Uh, James Fletcher, who plays him, um, has decided to leave the role, uh, which means that Dylan Jenkins himself will be leaving Hollyoaks. Uh, they said that they're very far from filming his um, exit scene, so it won't be. It will be a little while. They said maybe like a month or two or something like that around that time before uh, Dylan actually leaves. But um, it says here, young actor James Fletcher, I'm reading this from Digital Spy, uh, young actor James Fletcher has decided to leave his role as a troubled teenager at the end of his current contract. Um, let's see if it has anything else. D yeah, Dylan's final scenes are still a while away, show, so show bosses are lining up plenty more drama before he goes. Recent weeks I've seen Dylan take centre stage with cross-dressing storylines, seeing comfort, uh, seeking comfort, sorry, in wearing women's clothing, following tough times at school and at home. Uh, also says about his relationship with Nico. I won't read all of this, but um, and his behaviour towards Sienna. Um, yeah, viewers will see. Trevor uncover his son's secret and threaten to disown him, uh, leaving Dylan with some tough decisions to make. Um, what else does it say here? Uh, yeah, Hollyoaks Insider told Digital Spy Dylan was a popular new addition with the show's young fans. I expect all the fans were, but specifically maybe the younger fans. Um, Dylan was a popular new addition with the show's young fans, so he'll definitely he definitely won't be leaving quietly. There's a busy few months ahead for him, building up to a memorable exit. Um, Fletcher was cast in Hollyoaks late last year, not Hollyoaks later, late in Hollyoaks last year, um, as part of a handful of new teens brought in for storylines at Hollyoaks High. Because they basically replaced all of the, you know, you had um, Holly that was recast, you had Zach, Harry, um, I guess you can count Robbie and Jason, but they were already there. Um, Dylan himself, so that's like six people. Cleo, um, who else is there that's been added? That's like seven people. They all replaced, you know, Bart, um, Maddie, 
um, Neil, who else was that? Uh, Jono, um, Tilly, Esther's still there, although Esther's not really, she's not, yeah, she's not at the school anymore, she's got her own coffee shop, so, um, you had Sinead, uh, Ruby, if you guys remember Ruby, uh, she's left, Sinead's still there, Sinead, of course, with her baby and everything, um, so, yeah, it's kind of disappointing news, I was kind of shocked to see, because uh, I follow, you know, if you guys go on to certain, um, Twitter pages and click on the options, I think it's options or something, and you click on turn on notifications, I do that for Hollyoaks Goss Overdose and Hollyoaks, the actual Hollyoaks uh, verified page, and I saw it come up on my phone, sometimes I do get quite a lot of tweets, um, not to me through that service, because their retweets as well get shown up on my phone, um, so yeah, I'm pretty disappointed to hear that this is happening, Dylan's a very, very new character, and um, yeah, it's disappointing to see this. The actor's leaving. He doesn't say why. He doesn't say. Usually, usually the typical reason is to pursue other projects, which was the same reason Georgie Porter left, who plays Teresa. Which was the same reason jo Gemma Myrna left, who played Carmel, who can't come back. Which is the same reason that Jennifer Metcalf Metcalf left, uh, who plays Mercedes. Which is the same reason. I'll do three more people. Which is the same reason that um, Rachel Shenton, who played uh, Mitzi, same reason she left. Same reason that Emmett, who played Brendan, left. And the same reason um, that Claire Cooper, who played uh, Jackie. All six of those left because they wanted to pursue other other projects. Um, some of those people can come back, some of them can't. Uh, Carmel, one who can't come back because she is unfortunately dead. Um, but, yeah, it's disappointing news that he's left after just six months. Uh, it did seem like James Fletcher was having fun on Hollyoaks. I know I would be if I was working on Hollyoaks. <laughs> or any of the other TV shows that I follow and watch. Um, it would also be my dream to work at IGN as well. Uh, if you guys Google IGN, you'll be able to find their website. Um, yeah, uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say on, on Dylan himself. Um... It says James Fletcher, and that made me think about Alex Fletcher, who plays Diane O'Connor. I don't know if they're related. Um, not necessarily people who have the same surname are related. Uh, I've mentioned that recently. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I do have a blooper that I'm going to upload before I went to shoot this. Uh, it's about 16 seconds or something. Uh, I'll upload that. Bit of fun. Um, got something wrong, whatever. But, um, yeah, I'll keep this video nice and short and not drag it out too much because I don't have too much more to say. So, if you like this video, please thumb it up. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. Share it on your Facebook, Twitter, everything like that. All that good stuff. And um, subscribe subscribe here if you're new. Uh, make sure you're signed up and signed into YouTube. Uh, it's basically the shortest way for me to say it. Sign up to YouTube and then sign in. Subscribe to me if you're already signed in. Great. Uh, subscribe below, share it, favorite it, share it on Facebook, Twitter. Please thumb it up more than anything. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys for two Q and A's. I won't do it as a double Q and A. I'll do it as two Q and A's for each. Um, I'm gonna print off the questions though. So if I'm good on time, I might just do the rest of them. Uh, but we'll see how things go. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Q and A's. I'll release this today on Monday. I'll do two videos Tuesday, as I won't have time Wednesday. I'll have time Thursday, though. <coughs> um, so, yeah, I'll do both Q&As tomorrow. Release one tomorrow, and then release one Wednesday. And, yeah, you guys will see the videos anyway. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.